Hi, I'm Jeremy. This is MS Videos. And on today's video, I want to do a five guns everybody should own, in my opinion. I believe everybody should own a 1022 rifle, pump action 12 gauge shotgun, a hunting rifle with a good scope, preferably bolt action, a handgun to defend your home so you can get to a long gun, and an AR-15. All right, first up on my list is going to be the 1022 rifle. Uh, if I was to throw a name out there, I'd say a Ruger 1022 composite stock, wood stock, iron sights, doesn't really matter. Just, first question for you. Yeah. Why is it called 1022? 22 being the caliber, what's the 10? Because it's typically 10 slash 22. So I don't know the like, definitive answer, but I believe it's because Ten they round mag maybe? were designed for a 10 round rotary magazine. Uh, that's what I think it is. But I could be completely wrong. Um, but it's just always been a 1022. And they make banana clips for them. And I think they're still called 1022s, though. So. <laughs> okay, so 1022. What is the advantage to having one? So I believe everybody should own a 1022 because ammunition is inexpensive. It's easy to stockpile. It's a good like gun to train new shooters children, women, people that aren't familiar with firearms and they're scared of the idea of a big bang. It's a perfect gun because it's just a step above a BB gun. But it is still effective to take down small game, um, target shooting, to just get the, the body mechanics down with shooting, trigger reset, things like that. It's just a really good training tool that still is effective for certain applications. So next up on my list is gonna be a good quality 12 gauge shotgun pump action. The reason I like pump action is it's mechanical. There's nothing really to go wrong except for a physical breakage of a part. Everything can be manipulated by hand. Um, they're just super reliable and it doesn't matter what language you speak, you know the sound of a 12 gauge uh, action being cycled. You know that sound, it doesn't matter. You're gonna know that sound means oh, I'm in the wrong house. 12 gauge, get yourself something like a Remington 870, Mossberg 500, Maverick 88 if you're on a tight budget. Th those are all just solid quality 12 gauge shotguns. They're gonna last you a long time. I've had my 870 for uh, 25, 26, 27 years, something like that. I've had it a long time. It's gone through every configuration that there is and it's just sitting ready to go whenever I need it. Uh, you can hunt with it. You can defend your home with it. You can fight off a bunch of bad guys with it. You can do a lot of things with one gun. That's why I think it's an important gun to have in your collection. And next on my list in the number three spot is going to be a handgun. Uh, handguns, there's a ton of handguns out there, so it's hard to specify one specific one. But if I was to name a handful, I would say get yourself a Glock. They are super reliable. Parts are everywhere. If it is a crazy time in the world and you need to borrow some magazines from a buddy, the chances are they probably have a Glock. Other guns that I would say are good would be a Beretta 92, super reliable platform, 1911 and a 45, very good, been around for literally over 100 years. I'm a big fan of hammer fire guns, but a lot of my carry guns are striker fired just for convenience and for the safety fact, uh, features of them, I carry a 365 X macro as my conceal gun every day, and I carry a Walther PDP Pro as a work gun and a Staccato 2011 as a work gun. We've done videos on all of these. Go check them out. Yeah. <laughs> and all of those are in 9 mil. But I have two 1911s in 45 that are staged in my house in safes for quick access because they're super reliable, easy to shoot, easy to be accurate with at distance. Their biggest downside is capacity. Everybody should have a handgun in their collection because it gives you something to access quickly and easily. You could hide it on your person if you needed to. You can answer the door with it. You're not gonna scare everybody off with this big rifle hanging out the door. And it just gives you a fighting chance to get to something that's going to be better off for defending against a large number of attackers. I don't know, I'm just, I'm thinking, Top five guns everybody should have, 22, 12 gauge, and a handgun. Handgun's just important to have in the collection. In my number four spot, it's going to be a hunting rifle. Preferably a bolt action. Something that will give you stopping power at a long range. Because if you need to feed your family, and the only way you can do that is to 
kill Bambi. Sorry. <laughs> but if that's the only way you can feed your family, you need something that's going to do the job. Something with a good optic, bolt action with good stopping power. 30-06, 308. Um, I have a, a Browning 6.5 Creedmoor that is, that's kind of my hunting rifle. Some along those lines. You could go to semi-automatic if you really wanted to, but I, I would say a good hunting gun is just a really good thing to have in your collection. If you've only got five guns, that's a good one to uh, take up a spot. In this video, the number five spot is kind of a bonus spot because there's a ton of options, but it's gonna be an AR-15. I believe you should, everyone should have an AR-15 in their collection because of modularity, access to ammunition, having something that a lot of other people have is gonna be handy if you need it. Plus it's a very easy gun to shoot, it's an easy gun to work on, it's an easy gun to get good and accurate with, out to a few hundred yards and that's all important things if you're only going to have a handful of guns that's a good one to take a spot every single one of these categories you could have multiple guns that to to fill that spot but this was just kind of an overview i've had this video idea in my head for a while when somebody comes in and they start asking questions about well what kind of gun should i get these are the five if you get all five of these you're in a good spot if you only get one or two at least you're getting something good for you and on that little bonus content right here if you only could have two guns it would be a handgun and a shotgun done thanks for watching this is my list of the five guns everybody should own if you could only have five guns and that was it these are the five i think you should get trust me five is not enough but if you could only get five these are the five Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help us grow. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or if you know of a, a gun that you want us to review or if you have a crazy question. We do a lot of other things besides just guns. We, you know, we just shot our first dart video. Uh, check it out. And we're going to do a barbecue video coming up hopefully very soon, as soon as the um, time and weather works in our favor. And coming up in a week or two, we're going to be doing a big truck video. So that will be fun. So stay tuned for that one. And I'm Jeremy. Thanks for watching MS videos. Please like and, and subscribe. It helps the channel, helps us grow, helps us let us know, let, helps us to know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Pause and restart. Cut that shit out.